This is my advice to anyone who wants to start a woodworking YouTube channel in order to make a full-time income out of it and maybe get a silver play button or something. I want to tell you, YouTube is hard. Being a content creator is hard. If I knew what the struggle would be it's only to get monetized, as you can see, I have 7,000 subscribers right now, but I'm five years in the game. Five years of creating content, of giving it my all. I must be honest, I didn't give it my all because I have a full-time job and um, I have a wife and kids, so you cannot give your all to YouTube. You have to divide your time, but I spend hours and hours of making content for YouTube only to get 7,000 7, subscribers in five years while I see other woodworkers, a close friend of mine, explode with the same type of channel, with the same type of content, and he is at at almost at 200,000 subscribers right now. It's just hard. It's just hard when you're not seeing any progress. It makes you want to it makes you want to quit YouTube. And I won't quit because I love making content and sure, I want to make a full-time salary out of my YouTube channel, but I don't mind the way it is right now. This is just me giving some advice to people who want to start it and to let you know that it's a real struggle. I like YouTube. I like making videos. I will always keep making videos. I don't care if someone watches it and hates it. I get a lot of comments that my English is not so good. Yeah, duh, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm, English is, is not my, my main language. Dutch is. I do my best for you guys. I do my best to pronounce everything right, but I make mistakes. And sure, you can hear my accent. I know that. But my friend, my close friend, is from Norway. And he has an accent. But he blows up, and sure, maybe his videos are a bit better than mine. Maybe they are not. Yeah, I don't know. I have a couple of videos that are outliers. I have a video about the Festool Exoactive Exoskeleton that got over 100,000 views. I'm fine with that. I love that. I get sponsorships. I get free tools every now and then. I'm very happy with the way my channel is going. But uh, there were times... Sorry, there were times that I wanted to quit YouTube. I wanted to quit this game because I would have thought things would go faster. I would get more subscribers. I would get more revenue. At the moment, I make 80, 80 or 90 euros a month with this YouTube channel. Well, that will not let me live off it for a long time. If you multiply my channel by four, I wouldn't even be able to live from it. I have, I would have 200 euros, 250 euros. My channel didn't blow up, but I'm fine. Every now and then I get a comment on my videos. Someone asking a question, asking me for some advice. And I, I try to respond to every comment because those people, only if it's just one a video. If you reach those people, that's a person on the other side of the screen that watched your video and thought, I, I'm gonna take the effort to write a comment, to ask something. And if you ask something to someone, you don't do that if you don't think you will get a, a good answer. If you don't think the person on the other side you are asking the question to is professional enough in his job so every time I get a comment I see that as a really big compliment to me and my skill as a woodworker and as a youtuber 
that I've reached a person only if it's just one. Well, my advice to you, if you start a YouTube channel about woodworking, do it because you love it. I started my channel because I wanted to document the projects I made for my clients. I did it because I love filmmaking, I love editing, and I love YouTube. I love the stats on YouTube. I love when videos get views. But if you don't love those things, if you don't love video making, filmmaking, if you don't like filming yourself, don't start because it's so hard to achieve the goals you want to achieve. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Love what you do. If you love making videos, if you love woodworking and that combination, go for it. But don't expect to blow up because only one in a hundred channels blow up like that. Those are unicorns. That, best, that good friend of mine is a unicorn. If it's just luck or skill, I don't know, but blowing up will not happen to you. Yeah. I think you must keep that in your mind. And again, I'm sorry for my pronunciations. I do my best to do everything right. Forgive me if I pronounce something wrong. But if you, if you appreciate what I'm doing right here as a Dutch YouTuber, uh, translating my uh, videos into English, well, not translating because I only make English uh, videos, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel or maybe give it a like or something, show your appreciation, or maybe a comment. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you don't like this low effort content as it is called, just me filming myself in my car, please let me know because I won't do it again. But I, I really thought, let's give some people some advice. Let's give you uh, a new uh, a woodworker new to YouTube some advice on starting your channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.